I overheard my in-laws calling me a peasant and plotting to get my wife back together with her ex. I, 35M, have been with Abby, 35F, for 13 years now. Every day that goes by, I love her more and more, and we're even expecting our first baby. For the holidays, we always stay two to three months visiting my wife's family. However, this year, all the family was really excited, saying that Alan is coming. In all the years in the family, I never heard of an Alan, and my wife didn't even care about it, so I thought it was just some cousin. But the famous Alan turned out to be my wife's ex and first love. The man lives in Europe, but Abby's family still has contact with him and even invited the man to the house, and now he's in the country. I tried to get along with Alan, but the man just ignores me and takes every chance to get closer to my wife, making jokes or talking about the past. I didn't take it personally because I don't want to look jealous. However, lately, he has been coming every day to visit the family, and Abby's family started comparing his accomplishments to mine. They're all big fans of Alan, and I honestly feel jealous because they're treating him better than me. Two days ago, I overheard my mother-in-law and brother-in-law talking about how nice it would have been for Abby to stay with Alan because he's a smart man. What hurt me the most was hearing my brother-in-law say that he can try to get Alan and Abby back together, and my mother-in-law just laughed, saying that it would be good to go on a trip to Europe every year and not to the countryside with the peasant, referring to me because I live on a farm with my wife, who always dreamed of living in that kind of quiet environment. In fact, now that I'm no longer blindfolded, I'm starting to notice how my brother-in-law makes too many comments to my wife about how great Alan is, although Abby never speaks kindly of Alan, and I think she even treats him like he's a child. I don't feel comfortable being here, knowing that they see me as a dumb peasant. It's horrible to see how they try to include Alan in the family while still treating me like I'm just a casual boyfriend of Abby's. However, my wife only sees her family these months of the year, and I don't want to ruin that or put that kind of stress on her, especially since she's pregnant. I feel like I'm in some kind of rom-com, but I'm in the role of the bad husband the protagonist leaves for the handsome CEO. Update 1. I found out my wife was cheating on me with Alan. Just kidding, of course that didn't happen, and thanks for all the advice you all gave. Many of them were very helpful, and some were very weird ideas, like recording conversations with my mother-in-law or having my wife choose between her family or me. Maybe it's something cultural, but I would never give an ultimatum like that because, to me, it's a really low blow to do, here, family is very important. After making the post and reading the comments, I decided to talk with Abby about what I heard. We were in our room, and I calmly discussed what her mother and brother said. However, the moment I finished telling everything, Abby kissed my forehead and ran out of the bedroom to literally yell at everyone in the living room. No one spoke except for an aunt who tried to justify them by saying that they were just making jokes. I replied that they were uncomfortable and disgusting jokes. At some point, Abby told her mother something like, whether you like it or not, I'm married to this man. I'm going to have my kids with him and many more, so shut up and bear with it. Then my wife yelled at her brothers and went with them to talk in private. My brothers-in-law talked with me and admitted that they were only doing that because they believed I was forcing Abby to marry and live on a farm far away from the family when it was actually Abby's idea to get married in private and live on the farm. So, all these years, it has just been a misunderstanding. The three brothers apologized to me and were really embarrassed about their behavior, saying they only invited Alan to mess with me. After that, most of the family members apologized to us. Abby told everyone that she doesn't want to see Alan in the house anymore while we're here. She's not going to forbid them to talk to him, but doesn't want to see him near her because it's uncomfortable. Mother-in-law tried to complain, but Abby just said, shut up mom, and left the living room with me. In the bedroom, Abby confessed to me that she also felt uncomfortable, but since Alan is a friend of the family, she preferred not to say anything other than throw passive-aggressive comments at him. For example, after New Year's, we were all eating, and Alan stroked her belly without asking, to which my wife said, do it again, and I'll bite you, so he never did that again. Abby even said that on one occasion, she actually talked with Alan and told him that she dislikes being touched by other people, but Alan said she was overreacting and left her talking alone. I feel really stupid for not noticing how uncomfortable my wife was feeling, because that's around when she started spending most of her time in the bedroom when Alan was in the house, with the excuse that she was tired because of the pregnancy. Just out of curiosity, I asked her why she broke up with Alan if he's such a cool man because I'll admit it, he's really charismatic. Abby told me that he always treated her as if he knew everything and explained things that she already knew every time they talked. Abby never felt the need to talk about that relationship because it wasn't relevant, and she sees me as her first love and not Alan. I apologize to Abby for not noticing how uncomfortable she was and only looking at my own feelings without talking about it as a couple. Abby also apologized for the same. We promised to communicate this kind of thing to each other no matter what. Yesterday, we went on a date together, and when we came back, my mother-in-law looked very unfriendly. However, she apologized to my wife, to which Abby said she should apologize to me. So, mother-in-law and I talked for a while alone, and although I'm still upset, we promised to at least be civil with each other for Abby and the baby. We decided that the next time, we will stay in one of my hotel rooms while we're here. Even if it's a three-hour drive, it would be better for us to be comfortable. Three months in my in-law's house was always really tiring, so it's something we should have done earlier. For now, Alan is no longer in the picture because yesterday I got his number to send a message clarifying why he can't come back and why I don't want him near my wife. The man just blocked me without answering. I guess he understood, but if he didn't, I don't have any problem going to talk about it face to face. Edit. I showed Abby the Reddit post, and she didn't have any problem with me asking for advice. I'm even posting this now with her hugging my arm. I love this woman a lot. 
Also, Alan came back to the country because he divorced his wife and is flirting with any woman he can. It seems he thought it was a great idea to try and flirt with my pregnant wife. 